dear Michael B. Jordan, if you're going to give an explanation as to why you have a whole bunch of white women on a boat partying with you in Italy, I would like for you to not compare your likes of different types of women to milk and cereal. Let's talk about it, shall we? Hi everybody, this is your girl Miss and Little Cole coming to you straight out of NYC on this beautiful Sunday morning. It's about to be afternoon, a couple of minutes, and I just had to take the time out real quick just before I went to work to talk about this whole thing with Michael B. Jordan partying with a whole bunch of white women on a boat in Italy. I happened up on this last night. I want to talk about it, but girl, I was asleep, and fellas... Y'all know when y'all come home from work and y'all tired, y'all hit that bed. And I was just that way. I didn't get home until about 11 o'clock. And I know I had to get to work my two. So I said, let me get some sleep. And I really slept really good. At about nine and a half, I was asleep. So anyway, let me get to this topic with Michael B. Jordan. So I, I was on um, YouTube this morning. And I happened upon seeing all these different videos with Michael B. Jordan on the boat with all these white women. So I said, I'm going to talk about it, but I said, I'm going to do it tomorrow, which is today. Now, this is my whole stance on it. When I saw it, I said, okay, this is like the, what, 100 times seeing me, seeing Michael B. Jordan photoed with a bunch of white women. And when he's with white women, he has a particular type. It's not like white blonde. He likes those brunettes, those quote unquote like exotic type looking white women that they you could say are they are they Hispanic, are they Arabic, but you know, they're white. So he has a type. And let's keep it real on that. Now, here's my thing. When I saw the the video the boat, it was only about four white women, his friend who's black. And then somebody else who's white, who's steering the boat, who's probably like a person who's from Italy. Okay, now I'm going to read to you an article from BET.com that talks about the excuse for his quote unquote Becky's only boat party. Now it says this, it appears as Michael B. Jordan has been clowned for years for only entertaining white women in his personal romantic life. However, he put the unconfirmed chatter to rest in a Breakfast Club interview, claiming he's attracted to all women. While his words sparked a sigh of relief from his black female admirers, his latest vacation post told otherwise. But he has an explanation for that. The photos that have since gone viral show the Black Panther star and what many are dubbing a white girls only boat party in Italy. The images sparked a slew of criticism from his fans with several concluding that the rumors are true that he has a clear preference take a look at one of the photos in question below i keep seeing this so i feel obligated to comment this is not a yacht and michael b jordan has never to my knowledge said anything disrespectful about black women so i don't see the issue this was from somebody named roxy hayes taken to social media himself the actor responded to the backlash with a clear response that had some going hmm newsflash okay there's, a, there's not a lot of black women in Italy, okay? It's not. He said, y'all are bugging. Y'all are doing too much. I like milk. I like chocolate milk. I like almond milk, strawberry milk. You know, the cinnamon toast crunch milk. That's pretty good. Hmm. And BT ends it by saying, that's a lot of milk though. Now, here's my stance on this. If Michael B. Jordan was trying to really give a response about why he had the Italian women on the boat. He could have... I feel like he could have did it without comparing us to milk and cereal. To milk and, you know, milk and cereal references. I felt like that was just like a way of not giving like a clear, direct response. Michael B. Jordan, you are a public figure now. You are an international star. You was in the Black Panther. 
your movie grossed over a billion dollars worldwide. You are now going to be chasing by the paparazzi for the rest of your life. It is what it is. I'm going to need you to come and just be real about it. Just say you like women of all different types. There's nothing wrong with that if that's what you prefer. But my thing is this. Just be direct and say it. Just say, listen, I like all kinds of women. And that's that. Now, I'm going to take it further. He was in Italy. There's not a lot of black women in Italy, to be honest with you. And he's going to mostly run into Italian women who are European, who are white. Now, the boat was small. It was four white women, him, his back, his friend who's black, and the driver who was more than likely Italian. So that's seven people on the boat. My thing is this. He was partying there, having a good time. It is what it is. The man has a right to live his life. He has a right to like who he wants to like, if that's the case. Whoever he chooses to marry, if they're black, if they're white, if they're Hispanic, if they're Arabic, if they're South, a- if they're South Asian, East Asian, it is what it is. If they're Polynesian, if that's who he wants to spend the rest of his life with, as long as she isn't trying to take his money and try to drug him and have him end up in some kind of weird conspiracy where he, you know, we all know, you know what I'm talking about. And the woman takes his money and he's like, like you know, a vegetable for the rest of his life. It is what it is. I don't have an issue with it. My only issue, and I'm going to keep it here. I have an issue with black women coming after this man. They've been doing this to this man for like three and four years. This man can't walk around in peace with any kind of woman unless she's black. I've never seen him with a black woman, honestly. I haven't. I personally do think he likes white women of a certain look or Hispanic woman with dark hair. He's not into blondes, but he likes that suave, exotic type of looking woman with the jet black hair, light, light brown, brown, like pale skin with a little bit of like olive in it. That's what he likes, okay? And it is what it is. But my issue with black women is y'all don't go after Serena Williams. And she's married to not just a white man, but a white man who posts, who allows some white supremacists to post videos and uh, and like articles on Reddit, he doesn't go after. Them. You don't go after her. You don't. You didn't go after Meghan Markle, who was connected to the prince, whose family like gutted out Africa and like oh my god in ways that you know is unimaginable. You don't go after her. You don't go after other black women that's married to white men, but you go after black men who's married or dates white men, white women. And my thing is that that's very hypocritical. Perfect example with what we just saw last week with the whole thing with um Amy McClure. Y'all didn't go, black women didn't go after her like the way that they should have with the stuff that she said and with the stuff that he said. Y'all was caping for that man, you know? But Michael B. Jordan, he's just chilling and having a good time on the boat with women who happen to be white. And y'all have been hitting, throwing daggers at that man for so long that it's really sick and it's pathetic. And I don't think it's right. I really don't. And I think it's time out for that. I really, really do. It's not fair, honestly. And I'm just going to just say it like that. That's just my stance on the situation. It is what it is. Leave the man alone. Let him live his life. He's doing a good job as an actor. He's very positive. He's never been involved in a scandal. Okay? He's never had. He's never had. And to me, I'm going to even say this. I don't think that he has any self-hatred issues whatsoever. I think he's an actor who's a bachelor who wants to have fun. And women who are beautiful regardless of their race, you think he's going to turn them down? He's in the prime of his life. He is having fun. He is only 31 years old. All y'all black women that's complaining, be quiet. And look at y'all dance up in the mirror. Because if y'all into that bed winch and stuff, y'all the last ones that need to criticize him. And on that note, this is your girl, Ms. Analytical, we'll signing off. I'm getting ready to go to work today. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Twitter.com. I'm Miss Analytical. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.